What's going on, Mark? What's up, brother? What's going on? I'm good. Hanging out with Mark Rose right now. It feels good. It feels so good to be here. It's good having you in New York City. Yeah, thank you. You're from here? I'm from Brooklyn, yeah. Canarsie, Brooklyn. Flatlands. Yep, Flatlands, East 80th, you know. Okay, Mm -hmm. okay. Uh, Where where you living now? I'm in L.A. Oh, LA. Dude, climate yep. change. Just climate change, people change. Yeah. Uh, everything, everything's different. What, everything's what did different. Jay say? Got to travel first class to change the forecast. You already know. That's, that's how we do, baby. <laughs> that's how we do. <laughs> how was your experience growing up in Brooklyn, dog? Uh, it was dope, man. It was phenomenal. I still have family here, so to be able to come back and see them is really, really cool. Um, Are you staying in Canarsie? No. No, no, no. I'm staying in the city closer to where um, like my stuff is right okay. now, but um, yeah, you know, it was good. I feel like I got all my upbringing from being out here. Everything I learned you know when did you get into acting out here Mm, I didn't do it out here I got into it when I moved to LA and that was in 2015 what what inspired that move just knowing that I wanted to do something I mean knowing that I want to do something different and I felt like I've been in New York all my life I feel like I ran through all the circles I had through you know just I needed a change and I prayed on it and something just said LA and I went out there to visit for the first time and my visiting turned into me like you know staying so how'd you get friends out there so quick? How did I who? Did you, how'd you get friends so quick out there? I'm social, man. I'm just social. I just be talking to people. People be talking to me. Yeah, you a social you know? guy. I'll yeah. Give, I'll give you that. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah. So, so, so how is life out in LA? It's cool, man. It's cool to be out there. Um, at first, I'm not going to lie, I was a little rocky. You know, just, just finding my footing and... and um, getting comfortable with being uncomfortable, you know what I'm saying? But right now, it's, it's a vibe. It's a vibe. You, you can't beat the weather. You can't beat none of that, you know? So it's cool. I was talking to, I was uh, actually going your Instagram mm-hmm. uh, a couple hours ago, and I saw a post that you posted uh, where you work at The Grove. That's right. And I, I thought that was an uh, inspirational uh, uh, moment Man. To, to see your your face right there on the side of the grove. Tell me more about that experience. Yeah, so, all right, so when I when I went out to L.A., I was working at the grove. I was working at this store called Zara. And I was actually working at Zara in New York, but I transferred out there because I'm like, all right, you know, I need to keep money going. Um, so, you know, so I worked out there, and I was working there for about a couple of years, and I wasn't happy, you know. I, I knew that I was supposed to be doing something else, not working in retail uh, for me. But, you know, after that, I just I pulled my, my manager to the side one random day, and I got there, and I'm like, yo, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I'm not even going to put in my two weeks. I got to go, like, today. I'm like, I, I can't. I can't do it. And, you know, she asked me why, and we had a whole conversation. And it's crazy because where I was at in the Grove, um, it's like a touristy attraction uh, place. And so many tourists would come over there and do this. Like, I didn't have my beard or nothing then. So tourists would come and would take photos with me, like, while I'm working. And my manager used to be like, okay, really? You know, like, <laughs> how many times are we going to do this? You got to work. Uh, but we had that conversation, you know, and she, she understood and she was so supportive. And she was like, F that, you know, two weeks. You need to go now. She's like, go ahead and, and do, do what you got to do. You know, and I ran with it, and and I left, and I didn't look back since. And fast forward to now, I have my series coming out, um, Unsolved, The Murders of Tupac and Notorious B.I.G. on USA. And I'm driving past, you know, the Grove, random, randomly, and I see, like, this huge billboard of myself, like, right outside of the Grove. And, you know, I just thought that that was God telling me, like, you're on, you're you're doing what, you're walking in, you know, your destiny. Oh, I, I was watching... Um I'm big on like motivational mm-hmm. like speeches and right. quotes, and I came across one that Steve Harvey had where he talks about like jumping, and yet in order to in order to have your parachute to come, yeah, you gotta loose, jump. You gotta you gotta jump, and it's how, scary. It's scary. Extremely it's scary. so scary, man. And how did you jump into acting? Like, how, how did that happen in LA? Um. Okay. So I. Okay. So funny story. When I was working at the Grove. Uh, a casting director who's really prominent in, you know, the industry. <clears throat> Her name is Kim Harden. She had came into my job, like how random that never happens. But she, you know, she walked into my job and just started freaking out. And she's like, oh, my God, do you know who you look like right now? Like, you know, I'm this casting director and I'm, you know, I may be working on some POC projects. And I just want to, you know, long story short, bro, the next day she introduced me to John Singleton and he put me in acting classes and I was able to just, you know, uh, perfect my craft as you know i continued to to work and i'm here now wow yeah and how did uh you being a straight out of compton come about so me being straight out of compton that well that one was crazy because i was seeing like all the promos i was seeing all the trailers like you know i had no idea that i was going to be in it until the week before i shot it 
Um, but so long story sh- short, the director F. Gary Gray, um, who did Compton, he streamed the project. He finished it. They they wrapped. They finished the whole project. And he was out in L. A. To my understanding, and he was screening the fi- uh, the film for people. And you know the reviews were amazing. Everybody was like, "Yo, dope, yo, this is sick." But we just got one question. And, you know, he's like, well, what's up? He's like, I thought this was good. I said it was great. And, and, you know, they like, it is. But, you know, one, we are in the West Coast. And two, like, we can't, we can't do the West Coast without Tupac. You know, and, and, you know, he was like, you're right. And he called over to my agents and we set the whole thing up. And the following week I was shooting. So it's crazy because, like I said, I was watching all the trailers prior, like at home, you know, just like, oh, I can't wait to go see Straight Outta Compton. That's going to be so sick. And then, yeah, you know, and then I'm in it. So it's crazy. I, I wonder, um, how do you get into, you know, that character? Like when, when I'm interviewing someone, you know, I'm, I'm reading their bios. Or yeah. I'm checking our previous interviews they've done. I'm, I'm reading off their personality, seeing like how to attack it. How mm-hmm. do you attack that character? Um, well, honestly, somebody as big as Tupac Shakur, luckily, luckily for me, he has so much footage online that I could really just sit and sit and dig through and dig through. But I mean, you know, so I started doing that. And besides the footage, besides you know, the footage I found of him online, I was fortunate enough to have his older brother, Mo Prem Shakur, um, on set with us day in and day out, you know, just helping make sure things stayed authentic, um, you know, and they got the story right. And um, I also read the books he read, uh, how, to, how to Be a General, you know, The Art of War by Sun Tzu. Uh, God, for me, it was just really taking away everything I knew for myself and, and, retraining myself just like reprogramming to who Tupac was you know so I wasn't listening to nothing else but him I wasn't watching anything else but him I wasn't like I was trying to get down to his favorite gum you know what I'm saying yeah, like yeah. like you know how, how was that meeting his family it was it was it was sick I felt like I was meeting him you know what I'm saying well a lot, a lot of people don't know and I, I was lucky enough to meet his mom as well before she passed and it's like what a lot of people don't know you know is Tupac didn't just wake up and become Tupac like it's this strong foundation that he comes from you know what I'm saying the Black Panther movement like powerful powerful people you know so just meeting them they embraced me you know and and just gave me a lot of insight on who Pac was and and their family you know and that just made it that much more easier for me to just dive right into that thing because was, was there like any like emotional moment because you do oh hell yeah you know, quite a <laughs> yeah bit, yeah um well, my first time meeting his mom, it was at the Grammy Museum in L.A., and they was doing somewhat of a tribute to Pac, and they had, you know, his his journals that he wrote in and um, his his lyrics, like, just a whole bunch of stuff. And I met her, and um, how I met her, she walked into the room so gracefully, so elegantly. You know, everybody was, like, staring at her, just watching. I'm sweating bullets because I'm like, oh, shit, she's coming over here. <laughs> uh, you know, she comes over to me, and she just, like, embraced, like, hugs me so tight she pulls me in this really really tight hug and then she releases me and then she does it again like two like twice you know and just looking in her eyes and it, it was it's something that i'll never forget man wow. something i'll never forget man that's unbelievable yeah and so, so now we're here to to talk about unsolved yes and so how did this series come about um well i got the script uh i want to say december um, I'm not sure how they formed it or how it came about in the director's eyes, but I know I got it in you know December and when I read it, I was immediately blown away because for me it was something that I've never seen before. And when I and what I mean by that, it was like they they made sure they highlight, they decided to highlight the friendship between Tupac and Biggie. You know what I'm saying? And I know a lot of times when it comes to the uh Talking about these two, the first thing that comes to people's head is the East Coast, West Coast beef. You know what I'm saying? Which was such a small, small factor of their life, you know? Um, so I read the script, and they told me to come in to audition. Um, and I did. Everybody's like, you, you auditioned for that after you did Compton? And I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't mind. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm from Brooklyn, so that hustle me. You know, like, yeah. I'll, go, I'll go get it, you know? Um, so I went in confident, knowing that I was going to book it. And, and, you know, the, the director loved me. I, you know, I did a chemistry test with my friend who plays Biggie, um, you know, and we blew them away. We blew them away. And we just started shooting from there. We got 10 episodes, 10 hour long series. Uh, yeah. Well, what, what is the big difference between going from uh, doing something in film? Yeah. Playing Pac in film versus television. Is there any type of uh, mm-hmm. difference? Yeah, for sure. Well, 
I guess the biggest difference for me with, with playing him in the movie versus me playing him in the show was in the movie, I, I just had one job, and my job was to show him in this studio, you know, show him in this light, show him, because that's what they wanted, you know, but with a 10 episode series, I get to really like peel back the layers of Pac, you know what I'm saying? And it's, it's more work. It's more work than just showing him in that one dimension, which I still was thankful for, but here it's just like, all right, you know, his walk, his talk, his, you know, his interactions with people, who did he really love interacting with? You know, all those lights I had to make sure I turned on as I was going throughout the series. And so the series comes out February 27th. Mm -hmm. well, February 27th. Where are you going to be? Uh, I don't know. Honestly, bro, I don't even know yet. You don't know yet? No, I don't know. I mean, I'm thinking my LA. Crib, my crib. I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. Wait, are you living in New York right now? Or are you about I'm, I'm in Brooklyn. Okay. So I'm in bed -Stuy. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. Let's do it. You know, let's do it. Watch party. Watch party. Let's go. Shoot. Mark yeah. Rose, you, all, you, you definitely invited. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for inviting me, brother. Thanks well, um, for inviting me. So you're going to be probably back in LA. I feel point. like I'm going to be in LA. I think we're going to um organize a few watch parties and stuff, but I'm definitely coming back. Back to New York, I want to say maybe episode five or six because I want to do watch parties out here too for my okay. people. So okay. you're invited to that okay, for sure. See, all see, right, right. yeah, you gotta come through. And, and so, like, what, what's gonna be coming up next for you? So what are you excited for. I have two things that we're in talks with, and knock on wood, I don't, I don't want to go farther than that because I don't want to jinx it. But um, it's one is a series and one is a movie. Okay. So as soon as I'm able to finalize and, and discuss that, I definitely will. And, and by the way, man, that, that's a that's a great ability that you have to be able to do television and movies. Yeah, like, yeah. That is a, a yeah. major plus to have. Mm -hmm. You know, that's mm -hmm. like being able to being able to shoot and rebound. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> you know, you got to do both. You got to have Keep both. Keep me on the court, coach. Right. Well, Mark Rose, thank you so much for being here today, thank man. You, we really appreciate you thank for you. stopping through. Thank you. Get that dude BK Thanks all day. Me. All day. You you know it. Let's go. You know. We out. <laughs>